Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for November 13th through November 19th. This is for the sign of Leo. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a little tiny bit. I do want to let you know that this may not be for you, okay? This is not a private reading. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with you. It may, or it may not. Okay, so if it doesn't resonate with you, then it doesn't. I will zoom this in better once I have the cards laid out. And there you are, the basis of your reading. Imagine that. Okay. So, the basis of your reading is the Queen of Wands, which represents you, okay? This tells me that you should be right in your element this week. You're probably vibrating very high. You probably are looking very beautiful. You probably are, you're probably very intuitive. You know, you're right in alignment with who you are this week when that's the basis of your reading. I feel like you have this drive about you and you are feeling very focused. You're moving forward, you're making progress. It's a very victorious week, successful, okay? Congratulations already, it looks good. I'm done, just kidding. All right, but anyway, it looks good. It feels like you aren't having much confusion in your mind. It looks like you're really, really growing. Spiritually, um, with your self-respect, self-confidence, you're, you're leaving... Um, your confusion behind, you know what I mean? You've worked hard on releasing negative patterns. It looks like you've started over on something, okay? With the fool here right next to you, you've worked on mastering your emotions. You have. You've decided that you're going to do it. You did it. It's done. You took action, and now you're starting something new. You're focusing in another direction. You refocused your thoughts. I mean, that's what's happened. And I feel like you may be receiving an offer of love this week. Or, you know, there's a resurgence of a relationship. It looks absolutely beautiful. It looks, I see hopes, your hopes and wishes being fulfilled. You've persevered. You've put in a lot of time and effort into refocusing. You know, you've taken action. You're, you're really um, using your inner resources to overcome any conflicts. You are. I mean, you are on top of it, Leo. You are. It's like I said, I could have ended it there because it's absolutely a beautiful week. Now, this may not resonate. Some of you are probably like, oh, hell no. Well, maybe this isn't for you, okay? For somebody, they're bringing balance back to their life. Somebody's future is looking very bright because they have taken action, okay? They've released some negative patterns. They've released some negative thoughts, and they're moving to a much better, better, better place, okay? I see that things happen quickly for you because of the, the steps that you have taken. You've put in the time and effort to change the course, okay? And I feel like because you've done that, there could be um, a ref refreshing new beginning for you, a starting over. Even if you were in a relationship and there were struggles, there could be, you know, we're going to start over. We're going to step back to square one. We're just going to start this whole game over. 
You know what I mean? So I just feel like you've really put in the time and effort to succeed. Okay? You really have. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, I don't see anything negative at all. I don't. I mean, take a look. There's nothing negative, and it's because of you. I mean, I'm just about speechless. It's like many of you have replaced fear. You have. You've used your mental strength to persevere and to heal. And because you're vibrating so highly, there is love at your door. I'm just shuffling the next deck. I just feel very, very good. Okay, I do. I think that you've looked at something from a new perspective and you've just taken charge and your future looks bright. This is a love reading, by the way. If you are single, you could certainly get... Uh, oh, what's the word for it? Um, invitation of love or something like that. You know, you could get an offer of love. We have Aquarius here. We have Libra. We have Gemini. We have Cancer. We have Taurus. We have Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And they're right up there next to that cup over Phyllis. Okay? So, I mean, I'm telling you what. Somebody could be getting an offer of love this week that fulfills their wishes. If you're in a relationship, there could be a resurgence, a renewal. I see that you've taken action in mastering your emotions. And I know this sounds like a broken record, but time is fluid. And some of this probably resonated with a couple of you last week, okay? Some of it will resonate this week, and some of it will resonate next week. You know what I mean? Time is fluid. So for many of you, you've worked on mastering your emotions. You're listening to your inner guide. You're working on your spiritual journey. You're starting a new path. You're starting a new course. Your, look, your future looks bright. You're moving away from the conflicting thoughts. Balance is coming back to your life. You're feeling very bright, vibrant. You are vibrating very high. Your attractiveness is, you're glowing, okay? You're right in your comfort zone this week. Now you have it twice. There's a door opening. There's a door opening. It's a time to celebrate. This was reversed, but I'm going to flip it because you know I don't do reversed. I check, I, I consider the reversed in every single card. If I didn't, all of my readings, and if you've been with me for a while, you know that a lot of my readings are not like this. Okay? So, anyway. It's the end of inner conflicts. It is a time to celebrate. A new door is opening because you have taken action. You have refocused. I'm going to get the rest of the cards before I keep going. Um, you have refocused, by golly. Okay, I already said I said it before this card came in. Oh, but this is the hermit. This is totally about refocusing. But anyway, this happens a lot. So, you, many of you have refocused. You've removed your, your negative thoughts, okay? You've, you've ended the inner conflicts within your mind. You've changed your course of thinking, which has changed your course. It has changed your path because you've changed, 
okay? You have refocused. It's absolutely clear. And that brings your, your wishes and your hopes and your desires that much closer to you. It is a time to celebrate. You may feel like celebrating. This is a love reading after all. You may feel like getting together with your friends and having a party, all right? I don't know. It just, I mean, this is so positive. It's just crazy. Um, it just feels like you've taken the time to dig deep. I think you have freed yourself. You freed yourself from something that was negative in your mind. You've let it go. You did it. You took action. And this week, it's a time to celebrate, okay? It's a time to celebrate your hard work, your perseverance, your beauty, your self-confidence, your, your strength, okay? You, it's time to celebrate your accomplishments. Look how far you've come. Oh my gosh, I just happened to turn this over. The stars on the bottom, hopes and wishes are being fulfilled. You did it. It's a time of renewal. For many of you, it's a time of renewal for a relationship that was rocky. But you took charge of your emotions. And now it's the time to celebrate. I mean, there's an offer of love here for somebody who's watching this. Because somebody took action, mastered their thoughts and their emotions, and changed their, their vibration. Probably somebody with red hair. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm just throwing that out there. Um, my best friend is a Leo with red hair, by the way, and I haven't seen her in a long time, over a month, so I don't know what's going on with her. But, just saying, um, it really looks like her. But, but that's besides the point. I'm sorry, this rating is not for her. Well, it is. It, I didn't do it in for her. I looked at the card and thought of her. So, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to get your romance cards. This is for Leo. All Leos. November, not all. i got to rephrase that. Because somebody will be sure to comment, that's not for me. Or, you know, that doesn't resonate. Well, that's fine. If it does, it's not meant for you then. Maybe this reading is just for her, but I don't think it, I wasn't intending it to be. I wasn't thinking about her when I started the reading. So, I mean, who knows who it's for. It's for somebody. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm in that kind of mood. I slept eight hours last night. My apologies. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's what you have mastered. You have mastered your fears. You have mastered your emotions. And if you haven't mastered it, you have certainly worked on it. Okay? In a big, big way. And I think you're feeling like you. it's safe now. It is. It's safe to let somebody love you. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. That's what you've done. That's what has happened. And that's, that it ha is what has happened. Okay, and it is a time to celebrate. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So for some of you, Somebody could certainly be coming in, and it can be any sign, okay? Because they're all here. All right. So, this is for Leo. November 13th through November 19th. 
talk to you later.